Hey guys, Paul from CP Addict here uh, with Tanner Britton. He came to the St. Louis area Power Strokes event and brought his truck in. Uh, he drove what? Four hours, roughly, you said? Yeah, four, four, five about four hours, hours yeah. Um, to bring his truck. The same package we all have for these things. Um, can you tell us a, a little bit about your truck? I, I remember, what, two years ago you, you went to Amarillo, Texas? And, yeah, and so. Yeah, a uh, local friend of mine, uh, you know, we share a passion with these trucks. Uh, we actually did a four-wheel drive conversion on his and two-wheel drive, five speed, it's got a 7.3 in it, so on and so forth. Uh, the gentleman I bought this truck from actually had two of them. He had a, a late 90s brick nose, and then he had the aero nose. And the aero nose, obviously, is more of my passion. <laughs> I grew up with one. My dad has had a 95 crew cab long bed since brand new. See, like, that's what we hear all the time is people, like, my dad had one, my grandpa bought one, they bought it new, they had this, they had that, I have to have one, this is what I grew up in. It's always cool hearing that side of the story yep. of, you know. Um, I mean, other than that, the truck uh, it made a long journey home from Amarillo, Texas. <laughs> so, I know that it, it had, correct me if I'm wrong, it had close to 300,000 miles. Uh, when I picked the truck up, it had 363,000 miles on it. Okay, so it had 363,000 Amarillo, Texas to Kansas City, I'm guessing somewhere around. About 10 hours. Yeah, I was going to say 8 to 10, somewhere yep. in that range. So you decided to steal a trailer in it, you're going to go down and drive it back. Well, I got a picture of it running. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, a video of it running. Right, right. So the so, video, I was like, hey. Let's, let's wing it, let's go, right? Let's go. So you were telling me that every stop you came to, the, the truck, truck would die. The truck pretty much died. So you got it back, and obviously you want uh, a diesel shop. So therefore, you were able to, you know, fix and correct the issue you had. Um, but I know, like the the truck started life as a single wheel, four wheel drive, one time. Yep. And since you've got it, you put the dually bed on it, swapped the axle, and did the hub conversions, and, and done a bunch of stuff that kind of, kind of made it your own. Yep. Um, and obviously, we'll get into that in a little bit, but. You know, this is this has become, for lack of better term, your your baby in the last several years. Yeah. Long, so. Well, this is actually one of two trucks that I own. Um, I've got a '96 regular cab, five-speed. Uh, it's a three-quarter ton Dana 60 swap. It's got a little bit of lift, some mud terrains under it. Uh, that's actually my wintertime truck. So the motor that is <laughs> in that gray truck, or I'm sorry, was in the gray truck, is now no. in here. Uh, I swapped it over. The original engine. Um, had a high pressure oil issue. Uh, now that I've got a second sun coming, I needed the crew cab more than I needed the regular cab. Right. Uh, well, I know your wife was telling us a while ago about in the regular cab how she was having to ride on the hard plastic center console and that just wasn't yeah. cutting it. So yeah. when the crew cab was a viable option, uh, why not, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, swap, you know, I knew I had, I knew I had a good transmission in this thing. Uh, I knew I had a good engine sitting at the house. I knew I wasn't going to need the regular cab until probably November, December. Wow. Uh, it took me a weekend to get the cab off of this one, motor out of the other one, motor in this one, cab back on. So, so why is this particular truck out of all the thousands that are out there that you've seen? What, what kind of drew you to this particular truck when you saw it? So when my dad bought his 95, it's an all-white truck. Uh, no two tone with nothing along that work truck rubber floors hand crank windows showed up with steel wheels i mean ugly as sin <laughs> ugly right. as sin when you saw this thing um and that's what triggered me on it i love the fact that it looked ugly and i wanted to start from scratch and and, and basically make it in, make it as your own build well, it as my own well, yeah. like i mean this has gotten to be a pretty popular truck on facebook and Stuff. I, I see it all the time. I see people commenting on it all the time. So, and you've done a, a fantastic job with it, and you know, made it made it yours. And, and I know continue to keep making it yours. So, we appreciate you driving all the way out and doing this video with us, and uh, tell us about your truck. So, everybody, as always, if you enjoy our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have a, a video that you would like us to do, please email us or put it in the comments. We will take all videos into consideration. And stay tuned for another episode when we go a little more in-depth on some of the modifications he's done and kind of how he built this truck.